Hey everyone, it's Peek with the Pika Bros, back with another Animal Crossing New Horizons guide for you all. Today we're going to be going over how to unlock higher level tools, and also how to unlock the tool ring, which is a neat little item that allows you to swap tools on the fly. Before we get started, one important note is that in order to unlock both of the items I'm about to show you, you do actually need to pay off your first loan with Tom Nook. So you will need 5,000 Nook miles in order to pay that off. But once you've done that, you will unlock the Nook Terminal's ability to sell you some items for certain amounts of Nook miles. So with that all said and out of the way, let's get into it. So in order to unlock higher level tools and the tool ring, you're actually going to need some Nook miles. So you can see here that we have 3.8k. So that should be enough for what we're trying to do here. But if you don't have any Nook Miles and you're trying to figure out how in the world do I earn more Nook Miles, definitely check out our guide on the channel. I'll link it below in the description. You guys can check that out um, to kind of see some methods on earning some Nook Miles and the best ways to do so. So we're going to actually go here to the Redeem Nook Miles menu option. We're going to go down here just to the Pretty Good Tools recipes. Now you can see there's actually quite a few items you can claim with Nook Miles, um, as well as some furniture, some clothes, but we're definitely interested in unlocking better tools that don't break as easily. So we're going to go ahead and redeem the pretty good tools recipes for 3000 Nook Miles. So you can see here that we're actually going to receive this on our phone. The controller makes such a satisfying like little vibration thing when you get something on your phone, you receive a recipe or something. It's actually so nice. So you can see I can make stronger tools now that won't break as easily. So we're actually going to craft all of these right now because this is actually my first time unlocking them. So you can see a lot of new recipes are available. You got the shovel, you got the fishing rod, the net, the classics. You also have a stone axe. And the stone axe is something we're gonna craft here first. And this is actually an ax that doesn't chop down trees. This ax that we're looking at here does, whereas the stone ax or the axes with kind of these blunt edges down here, the flimsy ax as well, they actually do not cut trees down. So something to keep in mind as you're playing the game. Um, obviously most people will already figured this out, but this is how you unlock these new tools. So we're gonna go ahead and craft each and every one of them so far you guys the game has just been incredible um i'm just completely blown away by nintendo's attention to detail just the crafting mechanisms and how natural it feels and how well it fits in with the animal crossing series animal crossing is something super super dear to my heart and something i've treasured all my life so just to be in this new game and to to have these new systems and new things to explore has just been super exciting. So basically how you craft all of these new tools are with the flimsy version of them. And for the most part, you just need one iron nugget in the flimsy version of the tool to craft the higher tier. And once you have that, you should be good to craft all these new tools that you've discovered the recipes for by unlocking that little ticket through Nook Miles. So once we've crafted all of our new tools, let's actually go back to the Nook Stop and unlock the tool ring, which as I said at the beginning of the video is a super nice little handy dandy item that allows you to swap tools on the fly. So it's 800 Nook Miles. Again, if you need Nook Miles, watch our Nook Mile guide. It should help you get some Nook Miles pretty quickly. But for the most part, I think most people will have this much just by naturally playing. So now that we've received the recipe from the Nook Terminal, you can see that our character does a little happy dance. It's excited because they can now switch tools on the fly. Now this is a super neat feature. You just press the up arrow when you're outside. Let's go try it out. So now that we're outside, we can just simply press the up arrow on a controller and swap around. You can use the control stick to kind of slide around the different angles of this circle of tools. And it's just super handy. Love how this feels. Love that it's so much easier than cycling through with the arrow keys. And it's just a really handy unlock to have in this game. So it makes it really easy to kind of cross rivers with the vaulting pool and then quickly switch to a net or an axe or whatever. If you see, you know, a bug on the other side of the river, you can go catch it easily. And it's a little bit easier than cycling through all eight or nine of the tools that you end up with your inventory <laughs> near the end of the game. 
So that's going to wrap it up for today's guide. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoy Animal Crossing, if you're looking for more guides and more content on the game, drop a subscription on this channel. It means the world to us. We really appreciate it. And a like on the video as well just helps other people see this guide and helps kind of get our content out there for other people to see on YouTube. If you haven't already, check out our other guide videos as well as other videos on Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's a lot more to come for this channel, so stay tuned. Until then, see you on the island.